the energy, the attention, the show we like to put on, that one level of it feels like community and, and that genuinely another level of it feels like communion. We hope and believe that people can walk into a Johnny Swim Show and walk out a little bit more excited about the next day, a little more brave, a little more hopeful, a little more in love, feeling more loved, feeling seen, growing up playing music, Amanda growing up in an iconic household of musicians, uh, us both growing up in church. There's something powerful, man, when people open their mouths to sing something, not just because the words sound cool, but because they in their own lives, they've lived lives with these songs. There, I really, I think it's significant what happens. I don't know, I don't know what language to use for this either. I just know that there is so much potential in the room when we get together and we start singing songs and we activate, we have a, a conscious, at least us on stage, there's an active consciousness that this could help somebody. Going into this album, the pressure of giving out a new body of work and, and artistic output to people that are expecting music from Johnny Swim, to fans. And that was really our focus. It wasn't, sure, we want to make new fans. Sure, we hope we want to grow every time, all, all that stuff. But you know, if, if you've been craving a Johnny Swim album, what are we going to give you? And it was really exciting to sit and just make what we wanted. We wanted to make truly a Polaroid picture of our, of our artistry. And I think we did that. I, I believe we really did that with this album, which is also speaks to why we why it's eponymous, why we call it, why it's called Johnny Swim. Because in the truest sense, this is us right now. This is us now, this album. I mean, our hope is that there's a good portion of people that follow us that listen to us because we're honest and not, you know, because we're trying to be like some fake, like, you know, whatever. Like we're, I, I think if you listen to like our body of work, like we, we generally are like pretty honest with like how we feel about things. Um, but yeah, but there, I mean, there's sometimes where I'm like, are, is this too far? You know, like I, if we're going to throw an F-bomb in a song, I'm like, I would like our kids to be able to listen to our albums. Yeah, and so there's like some limits that we put on that we kind don't of stuff. But generally, yeah, yeah, like we, I we do try to even keep like, it somewhat family, family friendly. But. but even like the song Big Time, right? The point of the song isn't just to tell somebody they're dumb. Hopefully what happens when you hear the song on an album is you recognize, see yourself in this as the person who's been gracious to someone you disagree with. And you feel like, you know what, even to risk our friendship a little bit, like, I am doing you a favor telling you you're wrong. And I hope people feel seen in this. We're not trying to fix anybody. If anything, I hope that somebody that's near someone like that feels seen. And it gives voice to someone's frustrations. It gives melody to someone's own agony, you know? 